Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the beautiful Thorpe Ness. And in these videos, of course, Fox, I'm going to be talking you through this amazing course, but also offering you advice on your game on a whole host of different subjects. If you are new to the channel, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button, that like button, and please comment below on this particular topic, distance. And what we're going to be talking about is stomping on your driver. So getting the maximum amount of distance from the big stick that you can with a move, which is coming back into vogue just a little bit. You're seeing a lot of guys actually use this move now. And on this hole, 447 yards, stroke index one, bunkers everywhere, hole. This is a beauty. Actually birded this yesterday, it was straight down wind there. So stomping on the driver, what are we talking about? We are talking about the left foot, the left heel, in particular about taking it up to the top of the swing allowing that left heel to come off the ground and then stomping it down during the downswing to develop ground force power now this is all about vertical force and actually pulling energy up from the ground putting it down into the earth and then drawing it back up this is how you generate energy in all manners of hitting sports but this particular type of drill we're going to be doing is putting energy down drawing it back up through the point of impact and giving it a good launch. When I get up to the top, I'm gonna to be lifting this left heel up off the ground, just allowing it to raise, then powering it down on the way through. Trying to launch it. Oh, smoked it. I have absolutely smoked it. Oh, just drawn a little bit, drawn a little bit onto the left-hand side. Might be in the semi. Best strike in the morning so far, though. Now the reason for this is in ground forces. Now in particular, we're gonna be talking about vertical force here because there are lots of forces that go on within the golf swing to produce power. But to try and keep this as simple as possible, we're gonna talk about two different ways to produce power, okay? So when you start to swing, you can have rotary power. So you can be turning around an axis, rotating the body back and through. So that is gonna give you speed. You can also produce power through the hands and the arms and all the rest of it. But just think about this. So you've got the speed of going round and around. So getting that rotary power. So if I start to go down into the ground on the downswing and then start to move upwards, coming through impact, all of a sudden I've got rotary forces, but then I've also got ground forces actually helping me, pushing power down into the ground and then drawing it out. So I'm just gonna get set up on that left leg there, which is pointing directly at the ball. I'm gonna turn it back, turn it through, just a half swing with my seven iron here, and I'm not gonna try and use that much ground force. I'm just rotating through. And I'll just try and give you an insight to the difference in distance. So I'm not gonna kind of lay back on this. It's just a half swing. I'm gonna try and hit it quite firm. So halfway back, halfway through, not too bad. So that's gone 110 yards carry, 110 yards carry, only 70 miles an hour of club head speed, 90 miles of ball speed with these range balls. Now what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna carry on turning, but also on the downswing, I'm gonna to start to apply my pressure downwards into that left foot, lined up to the ball, just that right foot for support. And now I'm gonna to start to move downwards a little bit and then explode upwards as well as using the rotation. So getting set up, just that half swing again, and then turning through. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if that's one of those kind of subconscious things where I did give it a little bit more, but I definitely felt how that could be useful. I mean, it's flown, so it's 144 yards. Club head speed up to 81, so 10 miles an hour of speed difference. Might give you some kind of an indication and a great little drill that you can use to actually isolate that force within the swing. Oh, you got to hit it, you got to hit it. Oh. 
just not quite striking my putts yet today. Oh well, back to level par, not the uh, not the worst start in the world, I suppose. The other benefit about stomping on that driver swing is actually tempo. So lifting that left heel up and then planting it back down. If you can actually get used to that and practice this at the range as well, it can actually a tempo. So left up, down, left foot down, left up, left foot down. It can really help you achieve a much better tempo. So give it a go. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Really appreciate you visiting the channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, that like button as well. And please follow me on my other social media platforms, which are linked in the description below, as is the website for Thorpe Ness. Really, really enjoyed it down here. Thank you for having me down. Thorpe Ness, really appreciate it. Of course, it's in great nick as well. Got a hole in one chance here on the next as well. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.